I can hear like audio output from somewhere in the background. It's like the TV is on or something. I've got a fan on. I've got a fan on. It could be, it could be my flatmate. Just wait, I'll see if it's outside. But I can could barely be, it hear it. It sounds like it, sound, it sounded like people talking. Yeah, there was something woo haring. Woo haring. Can you hear anything right now? No. No. Uh, well, it wasn't my me, my end then, because uh-huh. I can still hear my flatmate's TV. Yeah. Now I can hear. I'll, I can I'll hear drop something. The video if, if, if something comes past, oh. I'll hit mute. Just wait for. Oh. <laughs> so if I had the Skype recorder going, what about for now? An hour and a half. Would have been a browser episode I could just release very stuff. What, whatever, that, whatever that, whatever that was, I believe you just stopped it because it just got really loud when you went away. Yeah. Oh, no, that's because I opened the door to go. Yeah. You know, so then you could hear sound come in. Yeah. So what was it? The TV. Yeah, his TV. He's watching okay. Deadpool. <laughs> funnily enough. Oh, did he? Did he turn it down? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or like throw a pair of headphones at him or something. But yeah. Okay. Let, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Hello, everyone who is uh, watching the live stream. We have zero viewers on the live stream, so that's good. Okay, Chris. So Chris. <sighs> Brad, you can just, when you, before you download the video on YouTube, throw it into the editor and just bring the start point up to about here, okay? Copy. Copy that. All right, let's go. Give us Brad and the pattern is full. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's late. Let's get into it. Wait, wait, wait a second. I have to do it properly. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and you have to get Michael Ironside to do it, which means, you know, and Transformers Link, Ultra Magnus. There you go. Yeah, good point. Ultra Magnus in Prime is Michael Ironside. Yep. Hmm. Um, hi. Hey. How's it? How are we all doing, everyone? Yeah, um, good. Let's, it's a bit of a bit of a sheepish start to the podcast because um, we've had technical issues for about an hour and a half tonight trying to get this thing up up and running off the ground, but uh, we are up and running now. So welcome to Off the Shelf. This is the voice of Transformers Collectors Club Australia. Um, when we get microphones that work for everyone, it is the voice. Otherwise, it's part of the voice. Uh, this is episode 53, recorded live on March 11th, 2016. If we faffed about a little bit more. More, it would be March the 12th. So we are recording very close to midnight. So if one of us dozes off, um, my money is on it being Brad. But uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yes, this, um, this is the static of Transformers Collectors Club Australia. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm Jason. Uh, joining us tonight, we have Brad, who is in the remote remote reaches of country New South Wales for tonight. I'm yeah, in the in, mountains. <laughs> yeah. Brad, Brad the mountain man has uh, has um, yeah gone to the mountain. I don't know what he's going to come back with. And uh, because we are starting late tonight, we're actually able to get John back on the show for once. John, how are you doing? Good, mate. Yourself? It's finally <laughs> good to be back. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> we apologise for anything that happens after this moment. Oh, no, look, look, I can't really be held responsible. <laughs> it's not the good job. Me good at computers, everything. <laughs> yeah, John's using his iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such uh, such are the technical difficulties that we had with his whiz bang tiny uh, tiny. John, PC. John bought a black <laughs> box instead can of I, can computer. I, can I just point out that like next to you, your computer is enormous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so much. like so like you've bought a computer. So John has this tiny little Alienware black box that um isn't working properly for us tonight. <laughs> And and that's not actually the reason we're late. I'm 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 actually the reason we're late because my Mac decided that it didn't like audio output for some reason. But um, John was showing us pictures of his uh, of his computer, and John himself is a tiny person, and he's bought a tiny computer. <laughs> <laughs> it suits me. <laughs> I know it's it's normal size next to you. <laughs> that's true. I needed something in proportion to go with my masterpieces. <laughs> 
I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, so, I should have, have you, issues. I know. Yeah. No. Brad's been Brad's been fine. Brad like his, <laughs> his video is slightly low quality, which is why we're showing this lovely TCCA logo over on the live feed. But um, yeah. it's fine. Um, yep. So look, let, let's let's get underway. Uh, this is the let's podcast for Transformers Collectors Club Australia. You can find our website at transformerscca.com, and uh, you will find links there to the Facebook group or groups, the uh, YouTube channel, Twitter page, which I don't think anything happens on, and of course this podcast, which many many and varied things do happen on. Um, if you what are you know in about Australia, Periscope. <laughs> I know many things about Periscope, but I would avoid it if I were you. <laughs> The last thing, the last, the last thing you need is to start periscoping your truck rides through the through the wilderness. <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd actually be hilarious, but you would end up fired so fast. Um, okay, look, Australian listeners, Australian listeners, you can become a paid and proud member of the club for five bucks. Send Brad a message on the Facebook group or send a message on the TCCA website to get your membership underway. Um, membership fees go to purchase of raffle prizes or donation prizes, sorry, uh, participation at conventions like Supernova and more. Now, we are actually four weeks away from Gold Coast Supernova, and I believe both of you gentlemen are going to be there. Woohoo! Yes, we That's will. right. Both of, our, both of our crazy hairstyles at Supernova. You know, <laughs> we'll bring in all the crowds. <laughs> it's actually, if you, if you two go along and um, zhuzh up your hair for the day, it can be shoop shoop and over. So, yeah, uh, if, if you're in the area or if, if you're planning to go to Supernova on the Gold Coast, because they, you know, like we do get people go to Supernova in this country from all across the country because of all the guests who come along. And those guests today include <laughs> include Brad and John. Um, so yeah, if you're going, go and say hi to the boys at the booth. Um, Brad will make the the um, table and uh, stand number known in the weeks uh, prior to Supernova, and uh, yeah, we'll get things underway. Look for um, Optimus Prime. Yeah, look for <laughs> look for G1 slash Bayverse Optimus Prime with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, didn't no, no, didn't didn't we yeah. say that? Uh, didn't we say that it's the mullet of leadership? It is the mullet of leadership. Mm, yeah, and it will light our darkest hour, right? Yes, <laughs> it will. All right. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm so uh, I don't have a favorite post of the week. I don't think Brad has a favorite post of the week. John, you have a favorite post of the week because you've actually done your homework. Uh, do you want to tell us what it is? Yeah, that um. Six O's shots of clear quake wave. Oh, can I just say anything that Six O does? <laughs> yeah, does, pretty much. He, he does have an odd predilection with his carpet that needs a clean, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but he just does amazing shots. But I'll admit, like, just looking at his shots of clear quake wave makes it look ten times better than what my quake wave looks like. <laughs> I've got the clear one. <laughs> I, I'm not even willing to mention myself in the same sentence as him. So yeah. Um, anyway, let's let's move on from that. Unfortunately, we don't have a picture of that to stick in the feed. Brad may have inserted one in the edit, but um, we'll see. Um, um, let's move on to some news. Now, this is where I try to be a little bit tricky and switch images to something on the live feed. Now, Cybertron reported uh, this. Uh, this actually it was reported everywhere this week. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have we have one more Combiner Wars combiner coming out, and uh, it's Computron. We've been wondering about this. We've been wondering about this for so long. Um, yeah, it's so we've got a clear shot of Computron, um, which you can see on screen at the moment. It's um it's pretty amazing. This guy ha this guy has new feet, which are. In the style of uh, Victorian's uh, ankle rockers, which um, allow them to sort of spread the legs out a little bit more, and uh, he's got he's got a new he's got new hands as well. It looks like, mm. um, although we can't quite tell with the hands, but it, it does look like they're it does look like they're new some or somehow new, and I believe Scattershot's been um, updated somehow as well. Is that right? I'm not. Sure, but hasn't Scattershot already been released? Yeah, I thought he no, had two, but this. And so okay, so Scattershot has not been updated. There we go. That's um, mm. fair enough. <laughs> I, I like the look of it. I think they've done a good job. I like yeah, the. Uh, 
I like, I like the change to the heel, the heels, and the uh, the fists. Um, I'm not going to buy it, but that's okay. Yeah, they're a lot bigger feet. Mm. The fists look like fists. Um, Groove's got a windshield, wind visor, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think the, the Jets Air Raid with some heavy moulding. Um, so, so did we ever decide what that uh, round thing attached to his left shoulder is? No. Oh, mm. yeah, it's. Oh no, I, I swear I've heard that it's um Cosmos. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. We, we've heard, we've heard people think that it's Cosmos, but um. That we haven't um, confirmed, yeah. Well, no, but like, like we haven't seen anyone mention Cosmos in an official capacity up until now. Ah, oh, okay, I get you. I don't so, know, because yeah. who's, who's the bot meant to be again? Who's the, the plane, or... Scatter like the actual... Scatter yeah, Scatter the main Scatter. one, the, the, the chest, isn't he? Look, I'll be honest, awesome. I don't actually know the names of all the techno awesome. bots. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, fair, fair enough, neither do I, so... <laughs> yeah. So, fair enough. It's, um, it's been a while, and it's late, and I don't know who that is, but yeah. that's fine. We'll sort it out at some point in the future. Yeah, this is, no, this is not going to be the last we'll see of this. No, nah, last week and mm. the week before, I just went back through the run sheet trying to find it. Um, Hasbro uh, lost its name, Titan uh, Combiners, or Titan. Way to, wait, 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 wait to jump ahead in the run sheet, Brad. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> it's in this one. All right. You, you wrote it. the run sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three o'clock in the morning after five hours sleep. All right, next. So, uh, so just on this, um, it does actually seem to be a change to Scattershot, um, and uh, I think we're talking about Afterburner. So, I, I've, I've looked a little bit. Um, I've looked looked up the uh, the actual news. Um, yeah, so apparently, apparently there is a there is a little bit of change to. Um, a little bit of a change to Scattershot because this does look like it may be sold as an actual set. Yes, Scattershot's an individual Voyager. Um, he's not part of this set. This is a box set. Um, if it's a box set, I'll see... bet you that yeah, Scattershot yeah. is in it. Yeah, yeah you're right. You 100%. It says new hands and f- it says new hands and feet confirmed. New deco for Scattershot confermed. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, can cool. tell the That's... paint's different. There's a lot more paint on Scattershot than what was on that yeah. original Voyager release. That, that no, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just said that, and you said, no, it's the same one. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Yeah, you're right, Jason. No, I think that G1 stuff there is an on the normal one, that, like, little blue, aqua blue mm. bit and um, little circles. I don't know what that is, but I'm muting Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got his face. Okay. All right. So, um, Brad, when you are ready to come back, do uh, do unmute yourself. But uh, look, look, we're going to move on. Um, so, yeah, there's. It looks. It looks like that is going to be a, a box set because there's going to be a new scatter shot. Um, okay. So, let's move on to the next story, uh, which is about. Uh, uh, for the fall of Cybertron, Optimus Prime, a, a teaser that's been uh, released by Toys Alliance. Now, um, we've so I'm pretty sure we've seen this guy before. Um, I'm just going to bring up the. Bring no, up we've the, seen the, the Planet X Prime. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, we've seen a few different fall of Cybertron primes, but this is a new one, and this is officially licensed. Um, Which is really weird. It is, um, but of course, as we've as we've um, as we've heard with all the uh, all the licensed uh, tra- licensed properties from Hasbro, it doesn't transform. So exactly. it's a ah. it is a, a super articulated 18 inch non transforming Optimus Prime. So yes, this is the this is the second one of this series, isn't it? Or is it? Uh, or no, it was a different one again, the G1 one that we saw a yeah. few weeks ago. Look, everyone's releasing an Optimus Prime, and it's very confusing. Okay, prime time. <laughs> Ooh, very nice one. <laughs> yeah. very good. Um, so we don't really know when it's going to be. We don't know when it's going to be out. We don't know much about it at all, really. Later. So, uh, question: um, Are you guys that into Fall of Cybertron that you would buy this? Yes. No. 
Like, Fall of Cybertron is like two years ago, right? But still, it's the best game we've got. Yeah, see, I never played the game, really. Like, never got into them that much. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, but but hang on. Like, Brad, come on. Like, you don't read the comics, so like you're missing out on a massive part of Transformers lore as well. Don't fake gasp for someone not playing the games. That's a tiny part of it. Uh, I'm a Japanese RPG player, so games like that, honestly, just... Don't interest me. Like, there's nothing Hell. to them. Like, yeah. Other than other than the con- other than the content itself being Transformers, the game itself isn't that fun. Like, that's just my opinion. Got, how far have you got into Mystery Convoy? Into what? Mystery <laughs> Convoy. <laughs> Mystery <laughs> we we've Japanese. got no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> the Japanese role-play game. Yeah, Mystery Convoy. The Japanese no, Transformers game to come out after okay. six. John, oh, see now you now John? you're talking English. <laughs> John, John, when when yeah, you yeah. do come, when do you manage to get back on the podcast in another six months? We do expect you to have completed Mystery of Convoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you might I'll, I'll download it tonight. No, it's it's a Japanese role play game. I'll, RPG. I'll get into it. <laughs> get into yeah. it any way yeah. you can. <laughs> you need jailbroken SNES. Anyway, uh, th- there's no such thing as a jailbreak for a SNES. What are you talking about? I have no idea. God, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move on. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna yep. take that and I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Hasbro, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this um, sexy looking for the Cybertron Optimus Prime up because there's no imagery for the next story. Um, Hasbro has. Um, Hasbro has, gen- has generated, they've uh, registered a new trademark and um, of course it applies to Transformers, toy action figures, toy vehicles and toy robots. It's called uh, Combiner Force. Now, uh, we know that uh, we know that they're currently, they're currently envisaging our current set of generations um, lines to be a three year or a, a three year or a three part line. So Combiner Wars is the first part uh, Titans Return is the second, and I really hope that Combiner Force is not the third part. Now they're calling this trilogy Prime Wars, but um, yeah, whether I, I don't even know why they're calling it Prime Wars. We've got only got one character that's called Prime so far, but whatever. Let's let's find out. Um, so yeah, Combiner Force. I it's, I reckon it just sounds like a subline. It sounds it sounds to me like what they'll do with Combiner Wars once they actually uh, once they actually finish. Uh, finish with the line, move on to Titans Return, but want to actually want to actually which, release more combiners. Which is what's happening now. These gift sets. Um, well, the gift sets definitely say Combiner Wars. I know, but Combiner Wars is sort of ending, and Titan War, Titans Return is starting. You can't, if they do Leo Kaiser, you can't print Breast Force on the box. <laughs> Why would you print breast force on the box? Because that's what, the, that's that's what they are. <laughs> no, that's what because they were inter- 30 years ago. Yeah. It's not what they you are know, now. International Women's Day and all that. <laughs> No, that's why they're... That's why they're <laughs> going, we, are, we are going to hell. We are going to hell. <laughs> I reckon Victorian... Um, Rest Force. Leo Kaiser, they'll be under this new trademark. They won't be Combiner Wars... Because Combiner Wars is... So, okay. So we, ha- we haven't seen the box for Leo Kaiser. We haven't actually seen any official confirmation no, of Leo no, Kaiser. True, true. We have seen the box for Victorion, and it says Combiner Wars. I'm thinking that this might be something that might come in later next year. Okay. It might not even be what we're thinking. It might be something else entirely. It's going to be yeah. some... There's going to be some weird thing where, like, the humans co-opt all the Combiners to do their own, uh, their own dirty work or something, you know? And, like, I don't know, uh, Victorion invades Russia or something. Yeah, go on. There you go. Combi- <laughs> Combine a force. Plotline, IDW, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll return to this in the future, definitely. We definitely will. I mean, they only just applied for the trademark, so, yeah. Um, one, other, one other point of interest, and this is... A point of interest is all this is really going to be for most people. I'm just going to move the... Uh, 
move the, the vision over to that. Um, so, yeah, TFW 2005 reported, and the news spread like wildfire around the internet this week that uh, some of the original production storyboards for Transformers the movie have gone, uh, are going up for auction. Now, I'm not entirely sure when the, um, when the auction actually finishes, uh, or where it is. Is the auction on eBay or is it on something else? Yeah, it's on eBay. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, it's so it's an it's an it's an auction that um, the 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 person who's uh, putting the auction up oh. says that they he's obtained them from a former I Sunbow could, staff member. I could totally afford that. Eh? I'm going to bid on it now. What's it, what's it, cur- what's it currently at? <laughs> It was $4,550 4, US. US. Yeah. It was two days to go. With um, one day, nine oh, hours. Yeah. Oh, one day, yes. You'll get, you'll get late bidders. Um, this, is <laughs> 500, this is a 500-page book. Do you reckon I can snipe this if I uh, turn off image oh. loading in my browser? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this, oh, this art includes... Deleted scenes that were never animated. So there's some stuff in this book that um, could be really good to have. Um, I'd love for someone like IDW or some sort of publisher to buy it so they can print it off <laughs> and I can buy you mean... it for 40 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, pretty yeah. beat up though. It doesn't matter. The art's intact. Scan yeah, it. Yeah. Scan that shit. I want to sew it. So basically, what you're saying is that you want someone to you want someone to buy it so that you can have it for free. I'll pay for it. Or, or, or <laughs> for or for a low, a very deflated price. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta say, like <laughs> looking at some of these shots, like the artwork is quite good. It's quite detailed considering it's for a storyboard. Well, yeah, um, it's all storyboard, yeah. Yeah, there's a good one with some. I see um, Soundwave on one and Bone, Bone Crusher, Scrapper, yeah. in a Devastator. If you call today, you won't get one, but you'll get two knife sharpeners with it. So, there, there you go. Two inches thick, five hundred pages. That's all right. That's that's a grail. No, I like the way it just says the mo- the movie. It doesn't have, <laughs> doesn't actually say Transformers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's okay. Cool. The top there? It says sequence number one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Cool. Unicron. Well, good I'm, luck. I'm... Good luck to whoever's got the money to bid on it. it yeah, I mean, it would be cool. Fine piece. I'd be really interested to know who actually who actually does end up taking this out. I I don't know if we'll ever know. It'll be mm. a seclusive in the UK, and you will never see it again. It's all right. I go to the UK a bit. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 I'll get I'll get visitation rights, you know. I'll be able to go see it at some point. Someone will, someone will let me in, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not, um, it's not what you know to, you know. Yeah, always. <laughs> um, all right. Look, let's let's move on. Um, we got a bit of a surprise this week. There was a there was some news that um the. Takara Tomy releases of uh, Hardhead, Skullcruncher, and Galvatron, which are coming up in Titan's Return, are actually they're coming up pretty fast from Takara. Like, now Takara's been like like six months or so behind Hasbro with um, with their releases for Combiner Wars, so it's quite surprising to see this uh, to see this come along so fast now. And they do have, of course, like as as you have for Takara, they do have slightly different uh, slightly different Decorations than uh, we see in we see in the the Hasbro figures. Sometimes sometimes they're for the better. Sometimes they're a little bit different. But yeah, so um, there's Hardhead here. There's Skull Cruncher. Now the Skull Cruncher, ridiculously popular amongst TCCA members. I don't honestly know why, but hey, there you go, guys. Um, when he's got the least, can you not like least him? Difference. I don't care for robot crocodiles. Yeah. I don't care for the robot crocodiles one. with pirates. Where's, uh, pilots. where's your Australian side, you know? Come on, we should all love crocodiles. <laughs> hey, this is clearly modeled off an alligator, not a crocodile, so... 
Oh, sh- go to hell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just go back you weren't even meant to be in this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, what, what the hell, Brad? Just go back up, Jason, to the... <laughs> go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. To the... Um, oh, no, I know. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. Go up, keep going up. There, that. That burn up down. That. Someone was saying that was going to alt mode. It is. It's meant what to be. It, yeah, I know. That's what I was just looking at then. But even in the picture, it says Sorry, Legends. Did you say it's Galvatron's alt mode. <laughs> in the thing, it says, like in the. Oh, I just saw it. Now it's gone. It's not no, Galvatron's no. alt mode. It's like no. put the it's put clear. the mouse over it's, that. It's put your no, mouse over that image, and it says no. new Transformers, new official images. Takara Tomy Transformers yeah, Legends it, hard head because... hunting. It's because it's read. the headline of the story for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. yeah. It's well, very that, clearly that. not Galvatron. It's very clearly Skullcrunch's gun. Yeah. Well, I laughed at it thinking it was Galvatron a few days ago, so I apologise <laughs> for that. I was misled. <laughs> yeah. I need to stop. I need to stop Just, saying okay. this I'm sorry, sorry. Stop. It. Stop. Stop. Galvatron? Skullcruncher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Galvatron? <laughs> Galcruncher. <laughs> Let's talk about Galvatron. Um, when, when, when did this Skull is be fantastic. have a dragon? What, he, that he's an alligator slash crocodile. Why can't he have a dragon? He can. I just wanted to know, did he have one before? No. I want that third party prime one that someone's doing. I got okay. no Skullcruncher, no interest. <laughs> Uh, this. Did, you, did you just start talking about a completely different figure? Yeah. Yes. But this, okay. I love that light, and that's the same purple. Okay, well, so like hold on, we are talking. We are now talking about Galvatron. Yeah. For, yeah, the, for, the, the, for the benefits of the people who do not watch the video, which is, let's be honest, 99% of people who listen to the podcast, yeah. we are now talking about mm. the, the image Cara of Galvatron. Galvatron. Yep. Cara's Galvatron does have a lighter purple. Um, I'll the say Martin very has close right. to the Masterpiece Shockwave. Oh, I hate to stir, but that's blue to me. That ain't even purple. You're on your iPhone. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm looking at it on my computer. Oh. Uh, no, look, I, I, think, I think it's fair to say it, it is a very blue purple. Um, yeah. yeah it, it's definitely on not blue. On my iPhone, I mean, it actually does look purple. Yeah. On my iPhone, it looks purple, but on the on the computer, it looks blue. Okay, right? good, good. Let's talk about your color spaces a little bit more. It's going to be excellent listening for people. Okay, Galvatron is purple. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I. The yeah, mold, I, I've the noticed. Color, is, color aside, the mold is exactly the same. So you're only going after this for the color choice, whether it's this or the darker purple, the Hasbro version. Um. Hasbro does appear to have a darker purple based on what we saw on the table at um, New York Toy Fair. Which was hand-painted, so it might not even be the final production shot. Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I- interestingly enough, if you look at the image that I've got, I've got here, um, again, sorry for everyone on audio, but... Um, you can actually see a bit of uh, you can actually see a bit of a mess around the uh, the cogs. The ratchet, yeah. Yeah, so this could well also be hand painted as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and also of course, uh, bearing the lead, the image we currently have on screen shows Megatron is Galvatron's pilot. He's a he's a tiny Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> I shall call him Mini Me. Mini, no, he's Mini Me. He's Mini Megs. Mini Megs. Mini Megs. <laughs> Uh, I, so I'm quite happy to see that Galvatron does still have a very G1-esque cannon mode. Yeah, that looks mm. that looks great. Yeah, that that does look great. He's uh, honestly Galvatron is actually tempting me to um, skip my uh, my No Titans Return uh, purchases, yeah. mm. but that's probably about it. And so like I kind of like I'm like I don't need him, but yeah. He'll probably I'll probably be able to walk into a Toys R Us and buy him on discount or something. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't talk about and... that. <laughs> <laughs> like him and Chrome Dome, um, I'm warmed up a bit more to blur. It's, yeah. Seeing some of these images, I'm sort of I don't want to. I really don't want to. I've got some masterpiece stuff I really need to pay for, but 
Yeah. I'm warming up to the Titans, Titans return. They'll always be around. I'm 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 not warming up to Titans Return. It's just this one figure that like I like the look of. But like I, I bought I bought Galvatron in um Energon when I I didn't need him either, but um <laughs> I, I I really liked that figure as well, but I didn't like the rest of them. Yeah. Um okay, let's move on. <clears throat> um some more Takara Tommy news, which um this week did prove a little bit divisive. <laughs> Um, I say a little bit. How, how many messages did we have on the thread about this uh, during the week? Let's bring him up. He is, of course, the next masterpiece, uh, which I believe is due in August. He is Delta Magnus. He's a, a Diaclone repaint of Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. We have been wondering how Takara was going to uh, monetize this mold, and um, this is a pretty good... Uh, a, 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 Pretty good way of in, way of doing it. Um, they're going to do the Diaclone version, um, which I, in Diaclone was called Powered Convoy. Um, yeah. And so yeah. Uh, good job. I don't know he, why they didn't call he, it Powered Convoy. Uh, yeah, it seems it, it is kind of weird, isn't it? Um, yeah. Except for the, except for the fact that like there's no actual part of this toy that is. The convoy toy, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Um, yeah, he, but, he, but, he but looks convoy, great. but let's not forget who Optimus Prime is called in the Masterpiece line. MP1 is labelled as convoy. Yes, we know. We, we do know that, but uh, there is no part of Ultra Magnus that is convoy in the Masterpiece line. Yeah, I get that. Right, so therefore it's not powered convoy, which is my point. Let's move on. But it is. Who's, who's, who's buying I love it? the colour. I'm buying it. Wearing the colours amazing. I don't know. No, I don't why? understand why this has been such a divisive figure. Like, if you, like I, honestly, I, we, if you don't want him, just don't buy him. Yeah, we we've, like, we've stuffed up. We've stuffed up. We we assume that uh, Primal is going to be MP31, but we have not seen any box art. I believe you assumed that. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wrote you, him. You, hey, you 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 went on the flight of fancy this week that claimed that Takara had in fact lost it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Might box have... art. This is thirty-one. So, so yeah. We hey, have, uh, we have... I, I, I still feel it's weird that they've labelled it its own number, but I won't. I won't get into that. But I still think no, it should I, have been labelled with MP twenty-two D. You know. I, I I also agree, and I wonder if there's a chance that might change before it gets released. Mm. Yeah, because it just makes me wonder what they do, how they do structure the numbers, just in general, like not having a dig, but because clearly some diaclones have had their own number, where then other ones do get, you know, like red B and gold dash, B get put yeah, under it, dash. but but then clamp down and stuff comes. At, yeah, it's just it's just strange. Here's here's, here's a uh, here's an interesting theory for you, which will probably get shot down within seconds. Okay. Delta Magnus comes with, uh, for some reason, Marissa Fairborn. Hmm. Now, there was no human that came with the original Ultra Magnus, so therefore it is actually a different production run. And Wait, like, you know, my, well, a bit... my Ultra hmm? Magnus came with two little figures. Yeah, two. Oh, did it? Yeah. I may, I may not have taken mine out of the box yet. I haven't <laughs> taken mine out either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, there's two jumpsuit figures there. The it, it, comes with two, the... it comes with two jumpsuits. <laughs> so, De so Delta only comes with one. Is that what they're saying yeah. now? Yeah, oh, pretty much. Well, yeah. like I said, I thought that I thought my theory might get shot down fairly quickly. It turns out I was it, right. <laughs> I thought I thought perhaps you, the change you were right the for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Look, as long as I'm right in some form, I'm okay with. It. <laughs> if I'm right in being prediction in my prediction that I'm going to be wrong, I'm okay with it. Yeah, um, I like. No, it's good. So it's yeah, nice. no, I, I I agree. We like we've been getting we've been getting um we've been getting repaints with uh, letters after them mm. for four or five years now. Um, it's kind of weird that now they've they've just sort of gone back to just giving them their own number. So yeah. it it could then, Brad, what you were talking about before is an interesting. You know, this might get shot down as well. How you were talking about they've got to release five or six a year. Maybe they, you know, in their minds, mentally think if they label it like that, it's its whole, it's a whole release, <laughs> as opposed to just a repaint. You know, like that's how they how they justify it to themselves and go, oh well, this it's a new it's a new figure. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's, that's just that's the different people getting road rage as well as tracks. Like, mm, yeah. yeah. 
And was Ironhide it? and Ratchet as well. Yeah, mm. did, did Road Rage get a separate number or, or dash yep. or something? No, nope, Road Rage was 26, tracks was 25. Or... Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, I right, I, I, officially, I believe we are past the point where this actually matters. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, this guy comes out in August. Have you guys already pre-ordered him? No. no. Are you going to pre-order him? Or are you just no, going to buy him I'll, when he comes out? I'll just buy him when he comes out. i got too much stuff pre-ordered at the moment. But... I've got to make this. I don't care for extra stuff. Another... There's another shot just to tempt you. Oh, that's got a lot more white on it. Uh, I think it's silver. Great. I think you'll find it. Wait a minute, does anyone know? Does anyone know what? You have to finish your sentence. So, yeah, my bad. (laughs) Um, I was saying if if the normal Magnus has those three embossed Autobot symbols there. I was also wondering that. I'm not sure. But, I've seen um, one. Uh, you know, yeah, what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. There we are. There's Marissa. There she is. Look at her. Look at those. Look at her with those weird knee joints. Yeah. Clay face and baby hips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, look, he's got multiple faces as well. He's got oh. yeah. He's got three faces though. A yellow eyed, and then two blue eyed. Well, he he must also have the um the face that comes on him in the box as well, right? Which is which, which is no which is um. Yellow. Why not? How, Yellow else does he, how else does he speak, Brad? Yeah, but that's so clearly. I'm guessing maybe yellow is Diaclone and blues the Transformers, yeah. like you know, because it's clearly got the same faces. Why not? No, y- y- yes. Uh, you know, yeah. meaning that's why um, they gave him yellow eyes, and so, then they're giving no, him the blue eyes though as well. No, but what isn't is there? Isn't there actually, um, like, doesn't he have yellow eyes in some comics or something? No, I yellow eyes. I seem to recall that Ultra Magnus had yellow eyes in um, the UK comics. Maybe. Excuse my, excuse my typing. Um, um, I, don't, I don't read comics, and if I did, I'd probably be reading ones in Australia. Just, just a thought, but... That's that's that's, that, that's that that's 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 kind of weird. That's kind of weird. I don't even. Yeah. What, what what was that even like? I'd be reading them in Australia. Meaning, because you said UK comics, you know, like I probably Skippy, wouldn't be reading many Skippy UK ended comics. In the seventies. Just the doesn't so, matter. Afterwards, but it's not canon. So you so you're aware that uh, you're aware that Marvel UK produced many many comics based on the Transformers property in the 80s and the early 90s, right? Obviously not, Jason. <laughs> no. I know. Yeah. I know. It's called the Cybernetic Space Cube G2. Next. No. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. No, this podcast no. get, this podcast gets weird if we do it this late. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let's, 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 let's move, move on. on to let's move Sorry, on to the willies. Yep. Let's move on to free willies. Bruce. As <laughs> as we had many jokes about this in the group this week. I don't think I helped either. Um, yeah. Hey, so. <laughs> yeah. Sure yeah. Fans Toys has released is... um, photographs. What was it? A prototype? Yes, it's a coloured test shot, but uh, it's a pretty good impression of what uh, Willis is. Um, going to look like. He's their interpretation of Hound, which has already been released by Make Toys. Um, so they are a little bit late to the party with this guy. Are there any other third-party Hounds around, or is this the one for now? Uh, this one besides Make Toys. There's, I feel like there's no, another just one this coming. And, just there's just this and Make one. Toys. Someone... No, there's a third one. Oh, really? Um, I feel like there is a third. Yeah, there is a third. I don't know who it is because it looks like shit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, ch- so, carry, traveling on from there then. Um, it's real olive green and doesn't look all that good, and no one's been talking about it. So. Okay, so uh, fans, fans toys. toys. Yes. Mm. I, can I can I just say I really love the curve on the bonnet um, as in yeah. robot mode. Like that that comes up really nicely. Rolls, rolls around the side. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, it's fantastic. Also, it seems like it actually plays a part in his transformation too. Um, yeah, he he looks great. 
Yeah, yeah I can't wait to get this thing. So, yeah. I yeah, just hope awesome, to get it in, in hand for the conventions coming up so I can show it off. Whether if anyone's... Whether if anyone will be one. <laughs> what? Whether what? what? Have you seen it? says it comes with an alternate alternate Hoover Dam scuba head. He's just got no, it. Yeah, 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 it does. It's like, <laughs> they just stuck a piece of plastic yeah, in front of his face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they just cut a square bit of acrylic and glued it there. <laughs> oh, no. no. No, right. It's, it's, it's... But in hindsight, that deserves to be there just as much as Prime's axe because it was the same episode. Yeah, but how, how are we going to get him suspended um, in water? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you risk to do that, but... Uh. I have no idea what you guys are on about. Because, you know, if everyone everyone goes on about reenacting scenes, you know, so how yeah, are they going to reenact you... that scene? Because yeah. they have to put him underwater. More than meets your part two, so... You should know we were re- we commented on it. Sorry, sorry, sorry didn't, uh, didn't someone make Combinables devastate a float in their pool? Yes. Yeah, fans, like some... toys, fans' toys have too much diecast to float, Jason. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just sink straight. Well, then again, that's why he's got a scuba head. <laughs> oh. oh, my yeah. goodness. No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I pre ordered this. I, I think it's best looking out of the free, so. Yeah. All right. Um, so, this was not the only figure that fans' toys previewed this week. They also previewed their masterpiece. I like how. Um, Officially, the news now says that it's masterpiece styled. Uh, mm. So they they previewed their kickback this week, and fan stories and sectorcons they look pretty damn good. Look at yeah, this guy. Look at his wings. Yeah. I, I'm I'm actually I'm actually most fond of the face mold on this guy actually. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, um, there's kickback. How much of the fans? How much of the fans stories box works? How much are the what? How much are the fans' toys and Sectacons worth? Um, oh, Joel Frame's going for one twenty-five. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Because like they they don't look like they're as big and as complicated as something like Hound. No, um, these these should be about the same size as the fans' toys spotter. Um, uh, four inches tall. They should be. They shouldn't be as four tall inches. As seekers. Yeah. Four inches. That's tiny. Now that's the yeah. They're that's bigger like than that. That's legend size, Brad. <laughs> they're like the same size as like the classic seekers and that you know, like the Henke figures. Yeah. Yeah. yeah roughly. That's fair. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's so, like yeah, that is a lot to pay for a bot that size. Yeah. Mm. But, as you said, it looks so good. <laughs> Well, it might sound like it does, but um, yeah. Mm. Oh, I've got. Mm. Um, Do they have articulated fingers, or are they all, are they stuck in that pose? Yeah, that's. Being that no, size, no, no, I'll no, say no, it's no. Stuck it, in that pose. No, no. Look at his look at his left hand. He's got he's got a hinge that sort of moves. I would say that's moving the entire hand as one, so that it can hold the gun. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. See, like, look on my yeah. camera. It's like a There's their hands. Thing. We can't see your camera, John. Can't you? Yeah, an iPhone. No. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, um, this this guy looks pretty good. Uh, if they are actually a hundred to one hundred twenty-five bucks. Yeah. Um, so this is the second Fans Toys Insecticon, right? Don't know what that noise was, but the, um, no, that sorry, that was no, right. This is the third. One, one's one's released 12 months ago, and other one's getting out there now, and this one's about to head out. Okay, cool. All right, so it's yeah. the last one. Yeah, last one. I look, forward, I look forward to seeing a lot of uh, Insecticon sets once this guy comes out. Um, True, Bill. No one ever does that. Nah. No one, I've, no already one ever... got, I've, already, I've already got the Bad Cube set, and I'm getting the, I've got the Fans Toys, and I've got a fair few Combiner Wars ones. I'm mm. making a hoard. Yeah. And when is he due? June. He's due for release yeah. in June. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and also, so just we can see from these pieces, just so we can actually know what we're talking about here. Um, so this thing down here, there is actually a, a clear 
chess piece as well, um, which I think is something that they've been doing with the other figures as well, right? There's a there's um, yeah. clear and opaque versions. They all come with the clear one, yeah. I swapped mine over for Bombshell, but mm -hmm. the screw is really hard to get in and out, and I ended up threading the screw, like mm. putting it back in, so now so now I'm never going to be oh, changing yeah. it. Yeah. The yeah, fans' oh, okay. toy screws are actually really bad. Like I've threaded a few of them, like on Quake waves and stuff like that as well. They give you spare screws, but they're just really weak. Oh, so you can replace so you so you can replace the screw, right? As long as it happens before it's fully screwed in. Mm -hmm. if that yeah, makes yeah that's sense. really annoying. Like you would think that they would they would think that they would make that easier for people if they are actually going to give you a piece and encourage you to change it. Yeah, I'll admit it did you know, make me quite angry, but at the end of the day, they did assemble it properly, and it's technically me that broke it, so, you, you know, it's hard. It's a hard argument. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, cool. All right, let's 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 move on from this guy. Um, what is what is next? Yes, there's a new version of Bad Cube War Dog out there. Do you guys own War Dog? No, yep. but I want to. I do. Yeah. Oh, so this is this um, one's actually so uh, the new version of Bad Keyboard Dog. Um, you can sort of get the effect best on this one. They've given him a custom paint job. Um, makes him look a lot more. Um, I don't know what is going on there. Um, weathered. Weathered. No, I was talking about all the sounds that I heard in the background, but yeah, it's okay. Oh, so I, really, had to, I just had to plug my. I had to plug my phone in. It was dying. Yeah. So it's not really uh, it's not really battle damage. Like he's not actually battle damaged. He's just weathered. Yeah, I I think weathering is the mm. better, the better look for it. Just yeah, makes him look a little bit more realistic. Now, um, so did you did you say Brad? You said you you said you don't own him, but you want to. I, and yeah. is it this version that you want, or is it just the normal version? My biggest issue with this, I love the weathered paint and everything on him, but it does not fit with. The rest of the nope. masterpiece collection. Nope, it doesn't. I, I completely agree, and that's why I have the original one. I'm not really looking to get this. <laughs> have you transformed it yet? I just nope. He's in, he's in I, just don't, I just I just. Why I don't, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna transform anything I get from Bad Cube ever again. It's just gonna sit in this box because <laughs> my God, Sun Search, really. Yeah. Yeah. I I just I, I mean. I, yeah, he was he was an annoying transformation. I'll give it that, but you know, but I, I just don't see how you couldn't not love it. Like you know, that's how Some a transformer this should look. Dog. This war dog, this veteran. You know, this is oh, how yeah, they yeah, no, like sure. they really should look. As a tank, yes. I but, I, um, I don't really care for I don't really care for the weathered look. No, no, that's fair enough then. Like each, you know, like I just, I just love it. Like to me, that's just realism. Like you know, I just can't, you can't beat that. Like in my opinion, but that's you know, each to their own. And as I was saying to you yeah. earlier, like the seekers, the MP cars, any of the MP figures, they're not the vehicles. So and probably the Bay movie or the live action movies stuffed up mostly, where all the bots are weathered in bot mode. And pristine in car mode, hmm. but even in G1, the, yeah, but even in G1, the bots are pristine in car and alt mode. There's no, there's no uh, okay. detail, Fair enough. detail. Yeah, so it just, I, I love it. I love the detail. The, the, it just the, doesn't uh, fit in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't fit in with anything. I couldn't, I couldn't put him with me MP stuff because of his weathered look. Okay. I just wanted to get it because then I thought I'm going to have him as the robot and then the normal as you know his normal version as the tank. And I think that works because then the tank looks nice and clean, but then him as a robot, he's all weathered and dirty, like he has been fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I'll get one one day. I'd suggest um, I'd, I'd I'd suggest just getting the original one. Don't don't yeah. I wouldn't go for the weathered look like like you said, it doesn't fit in with anything else on your shelf. Audit. Yeah. And as it said with the reissue right now, it says, Do you know when you purchase the reissue, right now you have a chance of receiving a golden ticket. With it you'll get the the, the rare veteran edition free of charge, but then you'll also get 
uh, there are 20 tickets for lucky draw winners, and these prize uh, war dogs has a unique serial number and special marking on the turret, shield, etc. So you can win that coloured one by just buying the normal reissue one. It should be something to what, what if what if you're um what if you win one because you've got a golden ticket but you never open the box? <laughs> oh no, I. It just makes so, me think okay. about the bad. The Insecticons did that as well. The clear, they've got the limited mm-hmm. clear ones in the in the yeah. pack. You, it makes you, you wonder how many know. people have bought that pack. Yeah. I never know. There was a. I mean, look, it's a fairly low number. Um. Also, the the weathered. Veteran war dog look. Uh, there's only 500 of them, so like if they're giving out 20, they like they're they're not selling. They mustn't be selling too many of these. But um, yeah, he is up for pre-order. Um, so like if you do if you do want this, you you can you know search him out on any of the retailers online and, and grab him. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for the news. I, I, yeah. I think we're I think we're rapidly approaching the end of the show. Let's talk about yeah. new acquisitions very quickly because um, as a, as I mentioned as I mentioned at the top of the show, um, it is very late at night for various reasons. So I would like to Hello, get Saturday. the show finished. Wee! Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is in fact now Saturday the twelfth. We are recording live. <laughs> Guys, have you got anything new this week, John? Just just hot rod and ironhide. We've already spoke enough about them, so. Yeah, fair enough. Um, there is a lot of there's a lot of hot rodage <laughs> going on in the group at the moment. I actually have not got my hot rod. I'm getting him on Monday. Um, I've been ridiculously busy at work the last few weeks, so haven't had time to meet with my supplier. Um, but yeah, so uh, looking forward to getting him on Monday. And uh, Brad, what have you got? Yep, um, hot rod arrived here two days ago. I haven't got him out of the box yet, so we can talk about him next week. Um, mm-hmm. Apart from that. Nah, no, no new acquisitions at all. So, yeah. so I've got, and I'm just, I'm just going to switch the video to me for a minute. Um, so Ooh, I've got a few thing. things this week. Um, as you can see, there's I've sort of got a bit of a display happening on my shelves behind me. I've got some of the some of the TF collection boxes, um, and that is one of the new things that I got this week. I actually managed to get the Megatron uh, from the TF collection. So. It's G1 Megatron. I haven't actually nice. owned a G1 Megatron since I was a kid. Um, I've, I've, I've been, it's kind of weird, I've been, put off, I've been put off ever owning Megatron again by the fact that my original G1 Megatron was broken by a kid in the schoolyard and like oh. the arm came off. So, um, psychological issues. <laughs> psychological, psychological issues. I was no longer allowed to carry around my toy gun. Um, <laughs> or I, I, I no longer felt <laughs> like carrying around my toy gun. So there. Um, other new stuff this week, um, you can just, again, sort of see on the shelf behind me, there's two big boxes, both with Decepticon logos. I think we all know what uh, the, the major big one is, and that is a $70 Trypticon from Toys R Us, at the oh, risk of wow. opening up a can of worms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you guys get a Trypticon? No. no. Did you try to get a Trypticon? No. no, I didn't. I, well, by the time I had the money, so it, was, it was all over. Um, so, yeah, so Toys R Us appeared. We, we did talk about the $70 trip to come last week. It wasn't very clear what was happening, but it does appear that there was a pricing error at Toys R Us, and they withdrew the trip to cons that they could off the shelf and took them away from sale. Um, officially, the explanation was that they're out of stock, but um, we have heard that. If you complain about the out-of-stock message and then the item being back in stock to Toys R Us, um, because there are like all all the Trypticons that they took off the floor uh, have now miraculously been repriced back at two hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah. If you complain about that, uh, you it is possible that you can get a um, a voucher with some cash money value on it to uh, <laughs> to spend at Toys R Us. But you know, it, so we we had at least <laughs> one minute. We had They'll at least one member of the group. They'll give you a voucher to buy the $300 Trypticon. Well, not that much. Um, yeah, so uh, we did have at least one member of the group report that he was able, actually able to get a $40 gift voucher out of Toys R Us for the, the inconvenience. <laughs> he had his had his order cancelled, and uh, they told him that it was out of stock, and he said, but hang on, this store has stock, so, like, what's going on? Mm. So it's possible that you it's possible that you can you can do something like that. <laughs> 
The other piece there, so actually the other thing, when Triptychon arrived, I was actually really surprised. He's half a kilo. Wow. That, that enormous box only weighs half a kilo. He's, he's actually really light. A back Which hollow. Uh, no, I don't believe they are. Uh, okay, yep. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, I thought Triptychon was much heavier than that in G1, so maybe these newfangled plastics they're using in the 21st century are much, much lighter. He's not that big, though. He's not... He's not hmm. Or maybe big. it just seemed heavier as a kid. Maybe. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, so the other, the other box on that shelf, um, eagle-eyed viewers may recognise it as the... BotCon 2011 Stunticon job um, set, which featured repaints of Transformers animated figures, and I never thought I would have it. But um, uh, Benny found it at a bargain price for me and was kind enough to purchase it and ship it to me, and oh my god, I'm so happy that I've got this. So, um, yeah, really cool. It is, because it's a BotCon set, um, it comes with a whole bunch of additional stuff. This, this, this set is in such good condition having come from BotCon, it still has the, the 100 uh, free credits voucher for use at the BotCon casino for, uh, for the competition night. It's got the fridge magnets advertising, I think it's TF Source and uh, some other online retailer. Uh, it's got the comic, of course, as well, and uh, of course the certificate of authenticity, all inside a lovely purple Decepticon coloured uh, manila folder. So, yeah. Very, very happy with it. Um, yeah. It's it's basically I think possibly the 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 crown and the very end of my Transformers animated collection. Um, oh, nice. So yeah, although I say that, but um, Shane Higgins has since tempted me on the group with some of the other BotCon exclusive uh, animated <laughs> figures. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, I I, I may uh, I may yet dally in a couple of other BotCon figures. Um. Sure. Yes, we yes, time will tell. Otherwise, I think that's about it for me this week. Um, yes. So no one else has any acquisitions. Is there anything else we should know? Is there anything coming up this week that we should be aware of? No, no nothing happened this week. Nothing? No. Nothing is happening this week, so that means it's the end of the show. So everyone, thank you for listening. Um, we have a we have a couple of shameless plugs to uh, bring the show out. Uh, mainly there for ourselves. You can find the podcast on iTunes. Uh, we would love it if you would give the podcast a positive review on iTunes despite this episode. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll put the link to it in the show notes. The link is, of course, on the website as well. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, we're, 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 we're pretty happy... We're, we're, we're pretty happy when we receive good reviews on the podcast. I'm just going to swap the camera back over to that, that guy there now. Um, and uh, next the week, podcast... Next week... Uh, Brad, Brad next just week feel I'll free to giving, jump in. Sorry. Um, <laughs> next week I'll be giving a figure away to someone that has left a review. So Good good luck with that. I have no random. idea how you're planning to find that person, but that, good good luck. No, there's, five re- there's five reviews there. Um, if someone wants to leave a review and the two or three days before next Friday, <laughs> I'll um, put you on the list as well. So There you go. Yep. Uh, if you want a free toy, get on that page and uh, leave a review. And uh, the podcast does go up in YouTube, on, on YouTube in video form. You may be watching this on YouTube in video form right now, in which case uh, we apologise for calling mention to it. But, uh, it, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're an audio listener and you are on the train or something and, you know, you look at your phone screen, why not watch us in video form? See what we're talking about. Um, so the link to the YouTube channel is in the show notes and you can, of course, stream the episode. So uh, thank you for listening, everyone. Uh, this has been Off the Shelf. We are the voice of Transformers Collectors Club Australia. Someone is typing in the background, but that's okay because I'm going to end the podcast. <laughs> See you later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, all. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See you, guys.